down 0.4%. Yesterday we had a muted session. Of course, that interest rate hike, uh, pretty much a, a surprise for most investors out there. Uh, do you think that it's pretty much been digested by most investors in today's session? Uh, hi, Elena. Yeah, thank you. Uh, on a, like you said, muted ex, um, expression at the exchange on the basis of um, the MPC um, outcome for yesterday. Um, tight ratings actually happened today. The gainers on the loser side actually saw a very um, um, almost equal, equal, um, equal, equal um, sizes on, on that on that bit. I guess um, a lot of people not only are they uh, digesting the um, the um, re, um, the minutes from the MPC, but also would a clear outcome of exactly what uh, the direction of um, investor sentiment would be and also on the back of uh, the reaction on the bond auction that would come in today it's actually where people are actually staying back to see exactly where where next what um, um, asset class to actually put in some funds into well looking at the naira because we've also seen some weakening there uh, we're currently sitting at around three month lows uh, tell us more about where you think the naira is going to be headed and what impact the verbiage of the government had on the Naira. Um, on the Naira, we've actually seen um, a bit of um, um, squeeze on liquidity. Um, direction now follows through the uh, central bank window. Um, from the CB uh, CBN statement yesterday, um, on the minutes of the MPC, we didn't really see much change in the turn of the of the central bank governor on that. Um, key 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 words there on stability, um, um, eliminating speculative demand, um, managing volatility. Uh, those keywords actually remained um, as part of the statement so we expect um, stability as a vera theme of for the central bank governor would actually continue which he also emphasized again yesterday um, yeah demand is coming on like i said liquidity outside of the central bank central bank window, window has been a little bit thin so we 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 thought thus you've got you've gotten such a reaction at the way the market's currently trading at um, 150 153.3 levels um surprising to note that in as much as we actually saw a, a surge in demand from the uh, uh the cbl win window today after this auction to over 600 million dollars mm -hmm. the uh, market reaction was a bit muted just pushing pushing the naira off by just 20 couples so that's uh, that's uh, is a sign that markets actually pricing the the fact that cbn is ready to keep um, the um, the rates within a stable range mm, and of course that has been the mantra of the the mpc and the central bank for quite some time to have a relatively stable naira uh, of course we've got the elections uh, coming up uh, and many say that the electioneering campaigns are going to have an impact on the exchange rate what is your view do you think that we're going to be seeing a significant move well, um, I mean, uh, on the back of um, increased spending, you might see some uh, some touch on uh, on the on the inflation inflation figures. But um, I think I, th um, I think um, the fact that uh, you have got the CBN actually coming in in a muted way yesterday, as per response to the inflationary pressures that are coming in, um, you might actually see such a, uh, you might actually see such a, such a moves most likely affecting on the interest rate corridor rather than on the foreign exchange side but nevertheless I mean you will tend to see some um, FDIs or other flows that would actually would have come into the market to actually temper the demand at the CBA window uh, not coming in so far right now because people want to watch and see how the election goes and the results thereafter so you might see a bit of pressure coming into the CBA window and might continue for a bit of period and of course, in just uh, just a little while ago, we actually heard news that the Naira has fallen to around a one-year low against the U.S. dollar, 153.40. We'll just get that Naira graph uh, back up to see where we're headed. Um, and of course, just keeping in mind that we've been seeing quite a bit of selling uh, coming through as well, $300 million at 149.63 to the dollar. And that was, of course, on Monday's auction. Uh, just give us your perspective in terms of the auctions uh, that we will be seeing down the line and, and the impact, of course, that that is going to have on the central bank. Uh, because they are selling, of course, uh, below that exchange rate. Um, like I said, um, dollar liquidity has actually been thin outside of the central bank window. So you find that the flows normally that wouldn't have gone in through that window now going in through the central bank window. Um, we continue to watch uh, for the oil companies' offers to see exactly uh, how much um, of dollar liquidity those other sources might pull into the um, economy. On the other side of uh, the FDIs and the customers' exchanges, we might actually not see so much of um, volume coming in. So our take would be to 
see how much on the oil flows would come into the market. Well, um, that notwithstanding, I think the central bank would at any point in time come in, in such a way to um, to um, to ensure that they are able to meet demand. I think what um, what might be on the back of their mind is actually to ensure that the demand they are seeing via the window is not on a speculative basis. But once that is confirmed that it's not speculative, it is real and based on genuine, genuine requests that ought to be done through that window. I think they would come in to, to, meet, um, to meet the demand. Um, actually, on the all yellow here, yeah, we actually saw the um, Naira touch uh, um, almost the 154 to the, to the dollar today, but actually closing back levels to about yeah. 152, 153. Three and there about, yeah. That's um, that's uh, a, a, the highest we've seen the naira before now was sometime in May when it traded about one fifty two point four five.